All right, y'all. You can see everybody's still over here. Everybody's happy. And today we got to get some more stuff moved over. In the last video, we really just got the goats moved over here, but not their feeders, not their, well, the waterers, but their hay. And we have to start training these guys to go up in the stalls at night. So this is going to be fun, I can tell you. Hey, Holly. Oh, gosh, Holly's soaking wet, y'all. Look at this. Holly, where in the world have you been, girl? Look at you. Goodness gracious. Well, let's get their stalls fixed up like we want them. That way we can start enticing those guys to go in at night. And hopefully tonight will be the night that we can actually make all this work. We actually tried to get them to go up last night and it did not work. It just didn't work out. Um, but we're hoping today is gonna be different. Uh, we didn't have their troughs in there. They, it was new. They didn't know what was going on, but I think tonight it's going to be a little bit different. I think it's still going to be, it's still not going to be smooth. These guys just don't know this area yet. It's just going to, it's just going to have to be something we're just going to have to work with. I think within a week they'll have it. I really do. We do feel fairly confident that they're very, very safe in here. We really do. Our dogs do such an amazing job. We got Jesse the donkey in here. Um, so I think we're perfectly fine. And plus, I think Mildred's a little intimidating as well, but we still rather really be safe than sorry. And so our plans are to put everybody up at night. This first stall right here, hopefully this will be Jesse's stall and Jesse will come in here to eat and to sleep if she wants to sleep in here. Again, we've been told by donkey people or donkey experts or people that own donkeys that they tend to like to stay out because their instinct is to protect and that's what they'll do rain or shine that more likely jesse may not want to stay in here but we'll see we'll let jesse make that decision the goats are going to get this bigger area right here there should be plenty of room for the goats and this is where we plan on putting those guys up at night I got them a waterer in here, and I plan to do another one of these for Miss Jessie as well. But we gotta hang their feeders up in here somewhere, and I'm thinking on that side over there. That's what I'm thinking. Or it may be better on this side. We'll see, we'll figure that out. Now we do have plans, especially once all the pastures are done, we are going to put a hot wire around the bottom of the perimeter around the area and on the top around the area. And that will definitely help with predators and also help with, you know, Moody so tall that he figured out that he could just actually push the fence down a little bit with his chin and step right over it. And that's why we ended up putting that hot wire over there in Moody's pasture and that eliminated that. And we're gonna do the same thing here, but I'm gonna do the whole perimeter so any predator would have to get through hot wire, number one. Then once they got through the hot wire or the fencing and the hot wire, they get to these guys, they'd have to go through another set of fencing and have to contend with the dogs and Miss Jessie. And who knows, we may end up getting another donkey that's a little bit larger than Jessie, but we'll see, we'll cross that bridge later down the road. And y'all, we got some really cooler weather this morning. It really feels like fall this morning. And look at them just laying around, relaxing, enjoying, the, enjoying this weather. Even Mildred, you can see she's chewing her cud. She's definitely in re relaxing. So are the goats. Look at Bo Peep chewing her cud. Capri, Tip, all the rest of them are like they're asleep. Not Jesse. <laughs> Jess, you gotta stay on alert, don't you, girl? Jesse is searching for predators and hugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh goodness. That's my Jesse right there, yeah. You like it over here, hmm? I know y'all do. I can't wait to get everybody else over here. Everybody's gonna love it. Yeah, that's right. I got the troughs right here and I was fixing to put them in. Everybody sees the troughs. They're automatically thinking food and they're all gathering right here. I was trying to get in. 
get all my stuff and I thought, you know what? What am I doing? I can do this way easier than trying to wrestle with all this. I gotta get used to this barn thing and these stalls. I'm just not used to it. And that's just go through the barn and come out in their stall. Hey, Sylvester. And we got the cats moving back over too. You guys can see. I so I can just come right out here, open up this door. Now these things can go over here pretty easy on this side. Like so. But, I really, see, I think they're gonna come in these stalls easy, y'all. I really do. This is just, it's gonna work out. I believe it's gonna work out fine. But I really would like to put one over here because I would like to spread them out. And, look out, buddy. But to put it over here, I would have to cut my fence. That's not gonna go in there. Oh yeah, it will too, I believe. Oh, the middle one's good. This one's not good. Okay. So I could do a few things here. The middle one would be perfect. I believe it would work because it's a skinnier ordeal here, but the, these side ones are thicker. So I could probably try to trim these and make them slip through there and hook over. Or I could cut my fence. I think I'm just going to trim this plastic, Mildred. Let's give it a whirl, okay? So I made a decision on the feeders, and that is I'm gonna line them all the way up through here. I originally was gonna put one over there, but I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, it's because that they're gonna be crowded, and the barn's gonna act as a barrier, and that's just gonna create a mess. We're not gonna put one over there. So I'm gonna put all three feeders down through here, and I'm just gonna clip the fence in one little area on each side, and then these should just you know, easily go up here with no problem. I think we got everything they need in here. Then we gotta go fix Miss Jessie up. I'm gonna put their mineral, loose minerals right here. There's our loose minerals. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll let you in. Y'all come on around this way. Y'all come on around. This way, guys. Y'all can't get it that way. Come on this way. Come on, Boots. Show them how it's done. Come on, girl. Come on in here. Now. Now look. I should have shut that door. That's okay. Look here. Now you can get you some minerals. Look. Yay! Now you gotta teach all these other ones to come over here, don't you? But see, Boosie's the oldest female, so she's the wisest. That's right. You girls have gotta learn from Boots. <laughs> Let's see if I can get them out of there and get them to come in here. Come on, guys. Y'all come on out of here. Come on, Fifi. Go, 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 go. Let's see if we can get them. It's gonna be all new learning experience. Y'all come on, y'all come with me. Come on, girls, guys, come on. Come on, y'all. Come on, that boy, Tilt. Show them, Tilt. Here they come. Show them, Tilt. I don't even see Jesse. Jesse must be out in the pasture with Mildred. There y'all go. Now this is good, right here. Come on, get you some minerals. I'm fixing to get your feed and get it put in here. Since Jesse's not even over here, so. That'll be good. I'm gonna get y'all a little bit of feed. Y'all come on in. We still have to get the barn cleaned up, y'all. But our plan is to put the feed barrels in here so we can come scoop the feed, walk right out the door and feed them. And it'll just be way better that way instead of trying to walk all the way through and nah, we're gonna do it this way.
Isn't that right, Biscuit? We got to get used to this barn. Yeah. It's going to be a learning curve for everybody, not just the animals. That's for sure. I'm not going to give y'all a whole bunch, okay? I got to get you guys hungry for tonight. And then get y'all's clock adjusted. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually walk in here with it because I want them to follow me to the stall. I'm afraid if I go through the barn and come around, they're not going to realize what I'm doing and not follow me to their stall. See, Capri still don't get it. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all, come on. There you go. Y'all, come on. We got to go through this door. We're going through this door, y'all. Come on. Come on, everybody. Coming through this door. Nope, y'all going wrong. You gotta go around. Y'all gotta go around, boots, bow, top. Y'all gotta go that way. Y'all gotta go that way. They don't get it yet. Well, this is practice. This is practice. Bootsy got it. Oh, Bootsy figured the mineral feeder out. And what's crazy is, is Tip and Capri just came out of there. And they, they didn't eat. And now they're trying to get back in. But you can't eat from that side, y'all. All right, Bo's getting it. No, Bo, keep going, Bo. Capri, y'all just were in there. Come on, go. Go that way. Go that way, baby. Go that way. Go. There you go. Go, big girl. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Go, Bo. Go, Bo. Jesse don't know what to do either. <laughs> we don't Jesse, Jesse. Has Jesse been in her yet? No, she has, has. She's been missing. Oh, so we need to figure Jesse out. See, I, don't, I didn't even put Jesse's bucket in there because she was missing. And uh, I thought I would just get the goats to go up. Come on, Bootsy. Show them how to do it, girl. Come on. Show top. Come on, Boots. Come on. Come on, Topper. Oh, look at you. Now, go and eat. Go, 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 go. It's almost all gone. He came right back out. He came right back out. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, oh, me. You cannot cheat. Topper, there is no cheating. You were just in there. I was going to go get Jesse's green bucket. I actually brought it. Did you? Yeah. Good. I can go ahead and hang it up. Well, you see Paris went back in. Paris, Capri, Fifi's in there. Top and Bo. Maybe it's a Nigerian dwarf goat thing. Maybe they're not. Maybe the, and Bootsy. Maybe the, uh, the Nubians are a little bit smarter. You can't say that because Tip's in Well, there. he's not. Is he full-blooded Nigerian dwarf He goat? is full-blooded. Okay. I couldn't remember. He's not registered, but he's full-blooded. Yeah, Jesse's going to go in hers easy. I don't, I don't think we have no problem with Jesse. You may go and get her in there and Please. put her. Come on, Aunt Jesse. Come on. Come on. Come on. The problem is going to be. I know. The goats are probably back up. Back up. Back up. Look here. Come on. Come, you walk in there. Come on. Come on, Jesse. That a girl. Good girl. Good girl, Jess. Good girl. All right. I'll go get the bucket. Okay. We're going to get you fixed up. We got to get you some water in here, too, don't we? I got a bucket right here. I gotta go get a hanger, okay? All right, Jesse, I got you right here, girl. Look at here, Jesse. Look here, Jesse. Now, there you go. All right. There we go. There we go, Jesse. We're getting you a water on here. You see it? Hmm. You see your water?
All right, so everything that I know of is done except the hay. We're a little unsure about the hay. Brooke's idea is, is she's gonna put the forks on the hay and try to pick up the hay rack and the hay at the same time. That's what she's wanting to do. So I'm like, heck, let's give it a shot, you know? If it don't work, it don't work, then we'll regroup. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Y'all, I just got this feeling this is going to be fun. Cause let me show you what we're up against. Now, we could use the hay spear, but we may lose a lot of hay if we do that. Cause you can see the hay, how it looks right now. We may could stab it, pick it up, and it may all fall to pieces. I don't know. Um, I like Brooke's idea if it'll work. I'm just not for sure if it's gonna work. You can go on up. <clears throat> It's off the ground. I'm not believing it worked this good. Now we gotta hope it stays on here through the entire duration of getting it over there to where the goats are. And Mildred, and Jesse. Here is going to be the next obstacle if we get it over here. Y'all can see Brooke is right there headed this way with it. She's scraping a little bit. She's okay. Is getting it in here without the animals. Right now they're pretty content over here in the pasture. So we might be okay. I'm going to kind of hang back. I don't want them to see me and um, start coming towards me. I got a feeling though, if they see the hay though, they're gonna come running. But maybe not. They got big old nice pasture, so maybe they're not interested in hay right now. I'm trying to be real quiet with the gate. So far, nobody's paying me any attention. Hey, right, right over there. Somewhere we can get in and out with hay easy. Well, that went as bad as smooth as you can get right there now. Wow. And nobody's even paying any attention. Normally on hay day, everybody's going nuts. But not today. They don't even want it. No. Can you believe they're not paying it any attention? Well, I tell you, I'm very surprised we got it over here. Mildred saw it and didn't even pay it any attention. There is no food enticement whatsoever. Uh-oh, Bootsy's over there. I guarantee she's going to rub her head on it. Instead of eating it. She's Let's just see. checking it out. No need to eat it. Just look at it. Here comes Bo. I haven't seen anybody getting down on the scratching post yet. Well, we noticed Mildred that first first day. I tried to catch that on camera, and she did it so fast. But it was quick. It was quick. I don't think they realize it's in there. I can't believe Bootsy. She loves rubbing her head on the post and whatnot. Well, there's only one thing you can do. Show her? Show her. You want me to go show her? Yeah. Let me go show her then. Bootsy, have you seen the scratching post yet? Come here and look at this thing. 
Come on. Look, Watch what this. is this? Watch this. What is this? That's what you do with it, like that. See that? <laughs> look at her looking. Just like that. Oh, like that. Come on, come on try it, Boots. Where are you going? Look. I thought she was fixing to rub my camera. That's <laughs> That would have been par for the course right there. Boots. Nope. Grass wins. <laughs> oh, me. Well, we got everything moved over here. That's everything, isn't it? We missing something? Hut. And there, you want to put a portal hut over here? Yeah. And a picnic table? Yeah, and some wire poles. Okay. So we decided to take one portal hut over there, just for an extra shelter. That's all. Come on, baby. Don't fall off now. We're almost in. Now, we get asked about these huts, and they're called Porter Huts. And we found a dealer in Tennessee. You can go to Porter Huts website, and they have a list of dealers. We're not sponsored by them or anything. These fit our purpose at the time when we moved over here. And they're practically indestructible almost. I mean, you can, they're just all metal. Really nice, quick shelters and again very well made no i think towards the back they got this up here for shelter i will what you think guys it's your porter hood Y'all remember that? <laughs> All right. Flip it over, Tip. Flip it over. I bet we can get Mildred up here to knock it back over for you. There's Mildred right there. Mildred, knock it over for me. Not that way. Not that direction. <laughs> no, not that direction. Here, let me get it. Look at Jesse. Jesse said back to the good old days. <laughs> oh, me. You know Tip loves riding on the tractor. Tip, you too big for that now, boy. You way too big for that now. Come on. You too big for that. He used to ride on that little bitty tractor, remember? You too big now, sir. I bet if you oh, crank it. <laughs> oh, Mildred. She's scratching her back. Yep. Hey, baby, we got you covered in that area. Kip said he made it. He got up there all right. <laughs> Where are we going, mister? Are you driving or me? Oh, me. back okay well i tried to record it but tip and top almost got out so i had to stop recording there for a second then uh, yeah i'm opening up the umbrella buddy you got to move now this you gonna get up here Jesse, you gonna have a picnic might I might have one. And you know what? What? Copper hadn't had the table. Not in a while. Him and Tip are going to play King of the Mountain. Yep. Mildred. Please don't get up here. <laughs> she looks like she might. Mm. All right, what's next? Is that it? 
think that's it, isn't it? The wire spools are rotten. Yeah, they're, we were. We figured that out when we tried to move them. They were rotten, so we're going to have to dispose of them properly. I'm going to tie my shoes. So I think that's it then. All right, I'm going to walk back over there and make sure I don't see nothing else. And if there's nothing else, I guess we're going to try to have fun tonight. Hmm. Loading them in the stall. Well, they're going to load themselves, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my gracious y'all, I know when fall is around the corner because the sun starts setting. Look how beautiful. And uh, we're gonna go ahead. I don't wanna wait till it's pitch black dark to um to try to get the, the goats up. Hey Gus Bus. Keep your hooves crossed this evening, buddy. Alright. How oh, beautiful. So here's the plan. The plan is we got three stalls. The first one's Jesse, as you guys know. Then the big one is for the goats. And the third one's gonna be for Mildred. Now, we're not gonna lock Mildred up. She's a big cow. We want her to be able to go in and out as she wants. I don't have to worry about a predator with Mildred. Um, I'm really not worried about a predator at all, but we'd really be safe than sorry. So our plan is, is to try to get Jessie to go in hers first. That would be great if Jessie goes in hers first, which I think she will. Jessie's gonna be easy. We get Jessie to go in hers first. Get the goats to go up. I'm thinking once the goats go up, Mildred's gonna go in there with them. She's gonna wanna eat too, and so that's fine. And if we can't get Mildred out, that's fine. But if we can get Mildred out, that'll be great too. So we can get Mildred out after we get the goats up, and we'll try to figure it out. Y'all see Biscuit? <laughs> After we get the goats up, get Mildred out, and then Mildred will have the third stall, or Jesse's. We may leave Jesse's open. Um, but either way, everybody's gonna have a stall tonight. It is a 0% chance of rain, but everybody's gonna have a stall they can sleep in and be comfortable in, and just wish us luck. This is gonna be fun. It, last night did not go well at all, but that was our first go around. We didn't have feeders in there. That's the cats. <laughs> we didn't have feeders in there. Um, so, but tonight's gonna be different. Tonight's gonna be different. But this is gonna take several times, I know it, but tonight's gonna be different. All right, let's go. All right, come on, Jess. Good girl, come on, baby. Come on, Jessie. Come on, Jessie. Come on, Jessie. Come on, baby. Good girl. Do you need a hug today? All right, we got Jessie. Have you had your hug today? She's so sweet. Jesse, I knew you told you Jesse was gonna baby. be easy. That's a sweet baby. Yeah. You're so sweet. Alright. Here comes Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> Here comes Tucker down the road. Tucker's gotta be in the know. I think we need to get that green bucket of Jesse's because it's big. I want them to physically see it. But I'm coming to help. Phase one worked out well because Jesse went up. Now let's go on to phase two. The goats. You ready? Mm-mm. Ready as all ever, babe. Come on, goat. Come on, goat. Come on, Mildred. Mildred, 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 Mildred. Come on, goat. Mildred. Come on, goat. Mildred. Come on, goat. She's in. Everybody's in. Well, she was. She went back out. Bo's the only one. She was in. I know it. She's the only one.
shut the door and put her in Jesse's stall, let Jesse back out, yeah. and then we could sit by one of them. Well, we can run her back through here. Yeah. What do you think? Yep, we'll try that. Go ahead and shut that door. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so Jessie comes out. Bo Peep goes in her stall. All right. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Bit, bit to eat, baby. Here. There you go. Okay, so we got everybody. It was uh not it didn't go exactly like we wanted. We got Bo Peep in Jesse's stall. <laughs> That's the only way we could get her to go up. Um, but we're gonna take Bo Peep and I'm gonna carry her and put her in the goat stall, and then we're gonna let Jesse go back in if she wants to. Um Tucker, I'm glad you're here to supervise. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're here to supervise it all. I gotta show you something, Jason. What? Turn around and look at the moon. Oh, look pretty. at the moon. The moon's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It is beautiful. Just peeking over the top over there. Beautiful. If they could get the goats to go in there, we could get Mildred out. And I'm not objecting to Mildred being in here. I just think it's gonna be a little crowded. Alright, so when Bo finishes eating, we'll bring her around, put her in here. Okay. Open the door, hopefully the goats go inside. Okay. Let Mildred out, and then let the goats back out. Okay. Alright, so I got the inside stall ready. I got this gate open so they can go over there. And maybe we can get the goats, or a lot of the goats to come in here, and that allow us to get Mildred to go out. Let's see if it works. Think you can pick Big Bo up? Yeah, I'm here. All right. And Jesse, you can go back in your stall. It's okay, baby. See? Everybody's okay. Now. Tips the leader. Oh goodness! It's Did like you a, open up the the, the divider too? Have room. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's why it. I can't see half yeah. of them. See, it all have room. Listen to it. Y'all sure do make a good tune. Y'all come on. <laughs> Bootsy said, "Uh, uh, I'm staying in here." We can't leave it open yet because of the cat. That's right. I may have to walk in. There. Yeah. Do you want me to come in so I can shut the door? No, I can get it. You sure? Yep. Who's left? Tip and top? That's it. Yeah. All right. All right. It's gonna work. Well, that will work. And We're gonna open, open yours up, up Mildred. Open Mildred's and guess up. what? You can be with your friends and have a place to lay down just like them. Look, she's going in. There you go, big girl. Got your own place to lay down. All right. Now everybody's got a stall. Everybody's got a stall. If she Perfect. chooses to come in and out, she can. That's right. All right, Jesse. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And I would say that went pretty well. I'm happy with that. Yes, I'm happy with it too. Very happy with that. 
if we can get them in the routine of knowing that they're going to be fed in here. Right. And we want them to go in here every evening. Right. That's all it takes is a routine. See, in the morning, we're not going to feed them. No. We're going to start feeding them in the evening time. That's right. All right, y'all. Good night. Have an excellent night, okay? And we're going to cut y'all's lights out for you. That's right. <laughs>